Hey, this is Barry Rutherford here with Sports Science. Come on in. So today we're going to be uh, filming some uh, St. X volleyball practice and we're going to be doing a few measurements to see how hard someone, how hard and how fast someone can actually hit a volleyball. We got uh, help from our varsity volleyball team today. So today we had a Brian Malk, a varsity volleyball senior, take time out of his day to hit some volleyballs for us and we are going to be testing and calculating how fast the ball is traveling and how fast the ball is rotating. We're going to be doing that through the use of our slow-mo cams. And now we're going to take a look at Coach's clipboard. As you can see on the clipboard, Coach is giving us an insight on his big game plan, the use of kinematics. You can see there are two types, translational and angular. So as you can see, Brian is about to hit the ball, and we stopped and measured the height at which he hits the ball, and then we went out and measured the distance at which he hit the ball, all in use for our calculations later in the video. As our team takes the measurements, we are ready to do some calculations. Starting off the calculations, we have D1, which equals the length of the ball hit, 4.013 meters, and the height at which the ball was hit, D2, 3.057 meters. And through the Pythagorean theorem, we are able to calculate D3, the distance traveled total, which was 12.268. So through the use of our slow-mo cams, we were able to calculate the time it took the ball to travel, which was 1.78 seconds. So through the formula of velocity equals distance over time, d equaling d3, which we calculated before, velocity equals 12.268 meters divided by 1.78 seconds, getting velocity equaling 6.892 meters per second. So calculating the angular velocity of the ball, which is theta over t time, theta equaling 14.48 radians, which we calculated again through our slow-mo cams, and the time staying the same, 1.78 seconds, angular velocity equals 14.48 radians over 1.78 seconds, therefore the angular velocity equals 8.135 radians per second. That's a wrap. Hope you enjoyed the show. Tune in next week.